Hi there, welcome to Beam All. In today's video, we are going to develop a Dynamo routine by which we will find the element inside a room. It is very often that in Beam industry, we need to segregate or filter the element according to room, right? So that we can get the schedule accordingly. By the end of this video, we will be able to do the same. So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, we need to know which element we want to segregate or filter, right? So in order to do that, we are going to have a node called category. Okay, here we have category. Let me have one more category. One more node we need here that is all element of category, right? So here we have both. Now see, category, suppose I want to segregate or filter the air terminal and one more element are there, suppose uh, the disk or furniture, okay? So let me cat, cat, uh, let me choose it by its category. First of all, the air, this is selling diffuser which comes under a category called air terminal. Let me have air terminal category. Here we have that air terminal and one more that is disk and for the disk the category is furniture. Okay, so it is not possible to connect two outputs in a single input, right? So to do so, we have a node called list create, right? Here we have what we are going to do, we are going to create a list from this or it's better to use join, okay, join. This is more helpful than creating a list. Now see, connecting with these two. Sorry, let me add one more. Yeah, now connect with this. Now see, here we have 24 elements. So you can see that it is coming in two sub list. We need to convert it into a single list. So to do the same, we have a node called flatten. What will it does? What it does, it will convert this two sub list into a single one. Now you can see here we have a single list and the entire 24 elements are there. What is next? Our next move is to get the location point of this element. Okay. So in order to do the same, we have a node called element dot get location. Now see here you have all the points over there. Now it's good to have a practice to get the same things by its bounding box. Why? Because sometimes it's happened that uh, it suppose it's a line based family. So it's good to have a bounding box over here and the, and the centroid point of that bounding box. Now let me show you how we can do that. Type here element dot bounding box here we have that bounding box now connect with this one here you will get a bounding box over there now next next is to get that point right so in order to get that point we need to first convert this bounding box into a cuboid so for that we have a node called bounding box now see in order to get the point at the centroid point, we first we need to convert this bounding box into a cuboid. Okay, search for a cuboid. Now see here we have to cuboid. Now connect with this. Now it's all are connected with the bounding box, right? See, you can see there we have the bounding box. Now, our next move is to uh, get the centroid of this bonding box or the cuboid. Okay, so to have a, a centroid, we need to search for centroid. Here we have that centroid. Now connect with this. Now see you have the that uh, point. If you compare with this one, you'll see both are same. The question arises here that why we are using bonding box over here when we are getting the point from the gate location. It is because a uh, duct is uh, it, uh, this gate location will not give you the point over there. Okay, it will give you a line of for the depth. So 
first of all we need to convert this uh, element to a bonding box thereafter we can uh, change it to a solid and from the solid we will get the centroid or the center point okay now, what is our next move we have the point so our next move is to get the room detail okay for that we have a, a node called category now here we have the category all elements of category now let me select here room yeah here we have the room connect with the all element categories there are eight l eight rooms okay our next move is to get the geometry of this room so for that we have a node called element or geometry geometry right see here we have the room geometry so our next target is to intersect these two geometry okay so first of all i would uh now see now see we have here now you can see here we have the room geometry now let me convert this into a single list we are not going to deal with each and every one individually okay so we are going to convert this into a, a single list like this so for that we are going to use flatten now see here we have all the solids okay now we will do a intersect now we are going to perform an intersect to check whether which element are in which uh, room geometry okay type intersect here see here we have that intersect now connect this one sorry at first we need to connect the element one here we have the elements geometry thereafter you need to connect this one okay so now our next move is to get all true element from this list okay so what is this true representing that yeah uh, element number eight is in uh, number four indexes means it, it is in uh, the room of room which represent by index four okay so we need to find that true so to do so we have a node called index of index of now see here we have now this is our list what is the element element is true right okay now connect with this have all the options okay the first one is zero yeah it is giving a correct one so now what's else we got everything now from using this index we will get uh, the room name from here right from there so now to get item at index we we will we are going to use get item at index okay these are our indexes and this is our list here we have the rooms for each and every elements right so what is our next move our next move is to put the name of room inside the parameter of each element so to do so we have a node call element name okay so this here we have that param uh, here we have that node connecting with this one it will give you the name of each and every room the next move is to set this room inside the parameter to do so we have a node called set parameter element element dot set parameter okay now see connect this this will be our values what are the parameter name i'm going to put the room names inside the parameter called comments okay so here we have now let me give the name of the parameter that is comments okay now connecting with this what are the elements here we have the elements we need to connect this one now see now see let me check whether it is a sand properly or not this is the guest room it is there now say select me the furniture guest room yeah now here let me check bedroom one that is it is there so that's all for this video hope you learned something from this one if it is useful for you please like our video share it with your friend thank you very much